Good morning, I'm Linda Reinstein, the co-founder of the Asbestos Disease Awareness Organization, and I am delighted to welcome you all to our first Friday event, which is Art Advocacy and Action Festival. Today, you're going to hear from artists, photographers, authors, and others, how they blend their art to make change happen. It is nothing less than amazing. At the end of today's event, Kim and Jill will do our exclusive candle lighting where we come together to remember those we've lost, but also draw courage from their stories and make change happen. For those of you who I haven't met, ADAO is an independent nonprofit. We've been doing our work for 18 years. We blend art, advocacy, and community together to drive prevention and policy efforts forward. Every story matters. So as we begin this Friday event, let's get social. Use the hashtag of 2022 ADAO when you tweet out a fact, a stat, a picture, or something that's important to you and your circle of friends. We'd love to have your support on social media. We've come a long way since our first conference in Washington, D.C. The picture you see is from 2005. On the top right-hand corner, you're going to see Dr. Barry Castleman, Dr. Richard Lemon, and of course, Doug Larkin. On the far left, my late husband, Alan, and daughter on the front, on the front row. You can see a lot of familiar faces. Nothing has detoured us. We have remained constant and strong for 18 years. Now we're joined together with all of you in a hybrid conference in Atlanta, some via Zoom and others pre-recorded. We're doing the best during the COVID situation, even though we have some difficulties. Yes, we are one. We are one. This weekend, we're going to be joined by speakers from Australia, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Italy, Portugal, United Kingdom, and of course, the United States. Now, if you're wondering who's going to be speaking, take a look at the link on our website. You're going to see a 117-page program, which has bios, agenda, tributes for our honorees, but also warrior tributes that tell our story with a one-page memorial or, or, or words of encouragement for a warrior that might be fighting. Every one of our shared stories helps to shape change. And I know at the end of candlelighting today, you will agree with us and want to share your story. Today, Earl Daughter, our dear friend and colleague, is going to talk about his work. The seventh poster will be unveiled today. And you can see on this photograph that we are dedicating the seventh poster to the chloralkali industry's reprehensible action to defy science and public health by importing and using asbestos. Earl will tell you more about his work, why it's important, and how you can get this poster later on. ADO has been a strong digital storyteller for well over a decade. I also recognize that if we couldn't tell our story to be heard, felt, shared, and remembered, it was a missed opportunity. I reached out to a political cartoonist when I thought we could do a better job telling the complicated story about asbestos imports use and the lag of policy. Today, we're going to be unveiling our four new cartoons that I work with John Curtis on. You're going to hear how we come up with the ideas, sketch them out, and get them to done. And you can see in this one, it's all about President Biden's moonshot. And we know that while promising research continues, prevention is the only cure. So we're hoping the White House will invest more money in prevention. Well, you're going to be amazed at, at David Borak's uh, NPR affiliate. He's going to talk about Davidson, North Carolina. He did a remarkable award-winning radio documentary, so stay tuned. David's incredible. We couldn't do this conference without the donations of sponsors and individuals. So I'd like to definitely thank our sponsors today for their allowing us to do our work. We do not make legal referrals, so they do it because they believe in what we stand for and how we do it. So to begin with, we want to thank the Simmons Hanley Conroy firm for being our highest donor, a platinum sponsor. Next, the gold sponsor, the Gory Law Firm, and the silver sponsors, Bailey and Glasser. And the fourth sponsor is Early Lucarelli, Sweeney, and Meisenkoten. Thank you to our sponsors. You make our work possible. 
Well, our leadership also makes our work possible. And on this slide, you're going to see our big board members, our leadership, and how we come together. Ellen Costa has given so much of her time over the past 10 years. She's a board member for ADO, but she's a huge partner in this conference. So special thanks to Ellen. We have a science and prevention advisory boards that are unmatched. The experts on these two slides truly are the experts in the nation and many times around the world. The science board is led by co-chairs, Dr. Arthur Frank and Dr. Richard Lemon. And the members include Dr. Brad Black, Dr. Barry Castleman, Dr. Raja Flores, Dr. Michael Harbett, Dr. Stephen Markowitz, Dr. Jackie Moline, and Dr. Christine Oliver. On the prevention side, which is very strong for ADO, our board is chaired by Brent Kynock. The members that support Brent and ADO in prevention are Mark Catlin, Claire Deacon, Tom Lobenthal, John Newquist, Tony Rich, and Mark Winter. We thank all of our boards and ADO leadership for bringing the science together, and we can truly stand where knowledge and action unite. Well, you're in for a big treat. We have three events starting today with the festival. Tomorrow is our academic conference. You're going to hear four sessions um, and be truly uh, updated on the latest, latest. In fact, session one starts with progress and challenges. Look forward to having you join us tomorrow. And then as we conclude our three events tomorrow night, we are going to have an award and recognition ceremony. You're going to hear Jordan Zivon profile a new song, and he does amazing music. As our national spokesperson, we're grateful to Jordan. And then we get to recognize seven individuals and the four law firms for all of their great work. And lastly, these honorees that you see on the slide, they are truly unmatched. It will be our honor to recognize Dr. McDermott, Dr. Wolf, Laura Baker, Ignacia Tihara, Vicki Francinelli, Roy O'Neill, and ADO versus EPA co-plaintiffs. Yes, we sued three times and we won. And we want to thank those individuals and organizations that stepped up and stepped out and put their name on our document so we could sue the EPA to do their job. And yes, we won. So in closing, the last slide is, is are the points that we talk about during candlelight, candle lighting. And Kim does such a beautiful job. And Jill will sing a very tender song and you will see a PowerPoint that recognizes just some of the many victims who've lost their lives to preventable um, mesothelioma. So before we start today's Art Advocacy and Action Festival, it would be important for you to hear from Senator Jeff Merkley. He has been the strongest ban asbestos member of Congress with his colleague, Representative Bonamici. They've introduced the new Alan Reinstein Ban Asbestos Now Act of 2022, and we do support EPA's action to obviously propose and initiate a rule for chrysotile asbestos, but we need more. And we want you to hear from Senator Merkley this morning so you can better understand why we're here today, what needs to be done, and how you can help. Please run Senator Merkley's video. Senator Jeff Merkley here, and I want to talk to you today about a grave threat to our public health, asbestos. We know that exposure to asbestos can be absolutely deadly for individuals. And that's why most of the developed world, some 60 nations in total, have banned it, banned its use, banned its importation. But the United States has failed to act. And that's why Representative Bonamici and I have introduced the Alan Reinstein Ban Asbestos Now Act. We need to get this bill passed. Now, the EPA, they're in a process where they're considering a ban on one type of asbestos fiber instead of all six. That's not good enough. Now is the moment to end importation. Now is the moment to end commercial use. Now is the time to end American exposure to this deadly fiber. Let's get it done and make 2022 the year we pass the Allen Reinstein Ban Asbestos Now Act.